are you guys doing? Are we're we doing together? great. Doing yeah. great. We're in Brazil. Yeah, we're both here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nothing's better than being in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> Please say yes. <laughs> so, Leonard Skinner, is that the right pronunciation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leonard Skinner. All right. Yeah. So, Leonard Skinner oh. is celebrating 50 years of legacy. Yes. How does it feel like representing all of this story? I got way. <laughs> it looks I so so <laughs> No, it feels wonderful. Yeah. Uh, it's great to be back here. We've been here before. We played a festival back in 2011, I believe. Yeah. And we've been trying to get back for years. Just never had the right situation. So to be able to come over here on the 50th anniversary yeah. is awesome. So it's our pleasure. We're looking forward to seeing our fans tonight and tomorrow night. So we're excited. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Yeah. We're excited too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I was wondering, how does the music influences that shape the sound of the band when everything okay. started changed over the years? Did it change? Uh, not for us, I don't yeah. think. I don't no, think so. I don't think so. It's The band's always been influenced by rock, blues, country, you know, and, and that's always been the influence on the band, even in the early years of writing the music. Yeah. Ronnie writing the lyrics, he was such an incredible writer that could relate to everybody, everybody in the common man, up to the biggest executives. You know, I mean, everybody could relate to what he was saying. He was a genius at it. The one cool thing about music that I think is that, let me see if I can put this in the right way. Yeah. Whether you're from Jacksonville, Florida, where I am, or right here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, you have that common bond of music you love, you know, and it's just an amazing thing. So. Yeah, that's also something that I always admire about music because you guys have a specific sound about the, of the South, of the mm -hmm. United States, yeah. and the culture is so different from Sao Paulo or everywhere yeah. around right. the world, but me, people still engage. Yeah. Is that? Yeah, there's what, no what borders. There's yeah. no countries in music. Exactly. Yeah, we're all one. You know, so. Do you feel like a, a different reaction? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you know, I think if you're a Skinner fan, I think you love the music, you love what the lyrics talk about, and uh, you know, most of our fans know the history, you know, oh, yeah. of the plane crash and, and all the bad stuff that's happened to us, but we've been, where there's been bad, there's been awesomely great, too, and uh, to be able to be here on the 50th anniversary in the year, you know, bringing the music back to Brazil. I think, it, you know, God works in mysterious ways. We have been wanting to come back and how, you know, I don't think we planned this, but uh, I think he uh, put us here for a reason on the 50th anniversary. So we're glad to be here. We're happy to celebrate together. So uh, talking about everything the band has been through, uh, you guys managed to go on with class style and the DNA is still going strong. Mm -hmm. What is the secret behind that? I think it's the music. Yeah. I think that, you know, Johnny and I, and along with Gary, we wrote a song called Skinner Nation. That's what we call our fans, right? But in it, we talk about three generations bold. Now we're four. Now we're four generations into the music. And we see fans come out all the time, eight to 80. And they all, they know the lyrics, they know the songs, and it's the music that brings everybody together like that. Those songs are so magical, you know, and they'll be here a lot longer after we're gone. We were just looking at Instagram and people are showing up right. at a gig tonight and posting it. We're like, how cool is that? You know, exactly. That, yeah. oh, my friend Pep, uh, Stephanie here, she's <laughs> from TikTok, you know, uh -huh. the platform. Yeah. she's huge there. And like, it's so amazing to see how many young kids are like oh, getting yeah. to know rock and roll, yeah. being considered sure. younger oh, yeah. bands yeah. through this kind of application. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, no, you know what? It's uh, for us, we're on stage and a lot of times I'll go, turn on the lights so I can see the audience and I see right. young people, old people, grandma, <laughs> they're all there, you know? And in America, we just did a outdoor amphitheaters, you know, these big cat in America with ZZ Top. And yeah. we were driving through, you know, going into the gigs and we see people out there barbecuing, cooking. It's a family affair, it really is, and it's generational. Yeah, and 
as pioneers of Southern rock. Uh, do you feel like there are new bands, uh, new great bands, like ready to take this music forward to the next Don't generation? Don't ever be anybody as good as Leonard Scott. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a long way to come. No, no, you know what? There's some cool bands. On these and these yeah, everybody. Yeah, just on you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you, you can't never take the place. There is some seriousness yeah. to that. But you can carry on the foundation. And there's groups like Blackstone Cherry and Blackberry Smoke, you know, that's southern bands. And I'm sure there's some that I don't even know, you know, that were influenced by Leonard Skinner. There's yeah. one band in particular that I think I've become a fan of is Rival Sons. Yeah. And Rival Sons, is to me, is one of those bands that's got that specialness about them. You know, and I think that band is going to be a big band. I really do. Yeah. And uh, there are some great new groups mm -hmm. that are coming up. And just like Johnny just named, they're going to carry their influence and their yeah. foundation forward. You know, you, you know, I don't think there'll ever be another Led Zeppelin. I don't no. think there'll ever be another ACDC. But there'll be bands them. that have their influence, you know. Yeah, right. exactly. That's yeah. awesome. And do you have like any advice for anyone like who's looking up to Leonard Skinner and saying, I want to make a band? Get a job. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> go to no. school. <clears throat> no. Yeah, go to school. No. <laughs> No, I think, you know what, if I had any advice for future artists, I would say, you know what, go out play, you know, because that's where you get your chops, mm -hmm. you know, you're going out and playing. Uh, you know what, if you do become a recording artist, get a good lawyer, good manager, you know, all those good things, because sometimes it's like that, and you make it, and then you don't have it, you know, so you need to think it is the music business, but always follow your dreams and have plan B. And I'll, I get asked that question sometimes by young guitar players, you know, how do I make it? You know, what is the key secret? And I don't think there's any one key secret to it, yeah. but the most important part is write great songs. Yeah. If you're a writer, yeah. make sure it's a great song or you do like, Ronnie was, and Gary and Alan got together with him, yeah. and they wrote great songs together. Yeah. It's all it's all about the it's songs. It's all in the song anyway. Yeah. I mean, you could be a great band and have crummy songs and just don't work out. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, know, you have to find your niche, too. You can't be like Leonard Skinner totally. You can't be like, you know, whatever. You know, you have to find your niche. And that's part of playing live to me. Yeah, you, know, you go yeah, out yeah. and you find, you start learning how to talk to audiences and get them involved and, you know, and plan. You know? Yeah, that's awesome. Talking about niche, fans were a bit surprised about the next gig you're going to do because it's a rodeo festival and yeah. you're playing with bands, artists with of other genres. Uh -huh. Did you listen to the people of the lineup? Did no, you know I haven't. Any? I can't honestly say I have. But we're looking forward to that because I guess we're playing first. Am I correct? I'm not sure. Yeah, and the bands are playing after us. Yeah. So we may hang out and check out some of the bands. Yes, yeah, yeah. because what is country music for us as South and Asia is so different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And and the thing is, this band, we've learned in, in our career that we can play in front of virtually almost anybody. We've gone over to Europe and played Hellfest. Yeah. And the first time we ever did it, we were like, Oh God, how wow, we're we in here. Hellfest, yeah. you know, it's like we went out and the audience w lost their minds. Yeah. And uh, we can virtually play in we've, front of anybody. Well, we've know? been back like three times. Now. Yes. But yeah. it, he's right. We go to Europe and play with a lot of heavy metal bands. And what surprises me is these heavy metal bands are fans of ours. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, wow, really? Oh, okay, cool. I mean, like, we've done gigs with Metallica. Right. A bunch of, bunch of the heavy. It guys. was really cool. One of them we did, and we look over on the side of the stage, and here stands Motley Crue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like, yeah. there it is, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but then we'll go back to America and do one with uh, Tim McGraw, you know, whose country, you Jason know? Jason Like, like what the heck? Yeah, Jason <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's a pretty amazing thing that's going yeah. fits in those 
to just about every genre. Really uh, and do you think it's good for rock and roll in general to go beyond the niche and like... Yeah, sure. sure. Be sure. everywhere. Yeah, you know what? The last time we were here at a festival, we had Duran Duran and Peter Gabriel on it. You know, which was really Chris cool. Cornell. I'm a huge yeah. Peter Gabriel fan, so yeah. I was like, all right. You know, so. And it was cool because I'd been a Chris Cornell fan for years. Yeah. yeah. And we got to meet him and talk to him at the airport. Oh, that's you know, awesome. as we were going to leave. So, see, we're fans of other people. Yeah. Look, I got on my ACDC shirt. <laughs> exactly. you know? I'll tell you what. I love ACDC. Tell you one of the strangest gigs we ever did is that we were on with Snoop Dogg. Yeah, you know, it's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> he opened for us. <laughs> and it worked out great. It yeah. did. It's Fantastic. crazy. Yeah. Do you have any guilty pleasures on music yourselves? Guilty pleasures? Yeah, something that are kind of ashamed of Shame <laughs> I don't know anymore. Yeah, maybe <laughs> wandering eyes. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I do like to have a little Hell House whiskey. We have a new whiskey that we uh, just came out yeah. with, and uh, so I have a. It's good for the vocal cords. Oh, of course. Yes, of course. <laughs> we used to be deep in other stuff, but yeah, 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 no more. That's <laughs> gone. That's why we're having a conversation with you, young ladies here. <laughs> With all that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, for our last question, at least online, there's a bit of controversy about a song of one of my other favorite bands, which is Scorpions, uh, about Always Summer. Have you ever heard the song? Have I ever heard it? No. Have you? No. What, what is, is it? Now? What was it? Yeah, Always Summer by Scorpions. Always Summer. Yeah, Always Summer. The introduction? Always Summer. Yeah. That's the name of it. Oh, Always I Summer. To her, does it ring the bell? Uh, because the introduction is so similar to Simple Man. Uh, and I couldn't find you guys don't okay. know it because fans are like, oh my god, is that too similar? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Okay. yeah, I'll have to check it out now that you say that. Yeah, I gotta check that out. <laughs> you want to listen to it right Maybe now? some writer's royalties on that. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, oh please don't sue me. Please, uh, no, I think. Yeah. You. <laughs> no. you know what? That to me is flattering. Yeah, you know, like yes. like uh, Kid Rock did uh, uh, all summer long, long, you know, and he had dum 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 dum. You know, we were flattered about that. Yeah, you know, and uh, you know to be able to see again, it's that generational thing with artists too. Which yeah, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I mean, we just did a a PB. It was called PBS <coughs> special in yeah. the states last November, which was Gary Rosington's last show with us, yeah. and we had. Uh, Brett uh, Smith from Shinedown, who's one of my favorite singers, uh, mm. sing with us and play with us, and uh, it was pretty cool. So it's just cool to see us have, have all that interaction. You know? Yeah, it's amazing. I, I read just yesterday about a possibility of a new album, yeah, new studio sure. album. Yeah. Did you guys actually wrote something with Gary? Oh, we wrote a lot with Gary. Oh, yeah. Like in the recent years? Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we did a song called uh, Last of the Street Survivors a few years oh, yeah. back. And, yeah. Uh, when we were in the studio there, we were like, let's go ahead and start recording a new record. But Gary got sick. Yeah. And so we put it on the back burner. Now, you know what? I think it's mine and Ricky's obligation to try to record yeah. some of yeah. these things and put them out to our fans that he yeah. helped us write. We ended up actually, he and I and Gary ended up one day getting together on our bus and listening to all these songs that we had written yeah. and had no idea there was that many yeah. and that's never been recorded or released. Yeah, so, so that's a good... So if there's any good record company out there who, <laughs> <laughs> who would like to give us a small advance. <laughs> Are you talking about it? Are you talking about it? <laughs> but you know what? But we haven't really forced that issue. Right. You know, we haven't. So far, you know, so we'll see what, what the good Lord puts on our yeah. path, yeah, you know. Well, we look forward to see the concert and Thank hear you. new music in the future, please. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It was amazing. Thank, Thank, Thank you. you guys. Thank you so much. Come take a picture Are you, today. oh yeah. What? What, what nationality are you? Are you Brazilian? I am. Yes. Oh. Good English. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Good English. Yeah. I, I love like it that. when they say it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Take a picture then. <laughs>